21 year old Bayard man was sentenced on Wednesday for his role in a September 2019 drag racing crash that seriously injured a 12 year old boy. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, the Bayard man who struck and seriously injured a Scottsbluff boy just over one year ago has been sentenced in Scottsbluff County District Court. Jacob Gompert had previously pleaded no contest to a Class 2A felony charge of second-degree assault. Yesterday, District Judge Andrea Miller sentenced Gompert to a total of 90 days in jail, four years of probation, license revocation for three years, plus court costs. Under the terms of the sentencing, Gompert will serve 30 days in jail immediately with 11 days credit for time already served. He will also have to serve 30 days in jail on the anniversary of the crash in both 2021 and 2022. Scotchup police say Gompert was speeding down Broadway that evening shortly before 6 p.m. as the boy was crossing the roadway at 22nd Street. Gompert struck the boy and slammed on his brakes, causing more than 200 feet of tire skid marks leading up to and through the intersection. The trial for the other suspect in this case, 23-year-old Truen Henderson of Alliance, is set to begin next week in Scottsbluff County District Court. Henderson is accused of drag racing alongside Gompert moments before the crash and is charged with aiding and abetting a Class 2A felony. He has pleaded not guilty to the charge. Well, officials with Regional West Medical Center say IT staff is continuing their work addressing a computer network interruption that was announced on Tuesday. In a release from Regional West spokesperson Julie Franklin, officials say Regional West and all physicians' clinics remain open. However, some patients may be contacted to reschedule their appointments. The release also says the emergency department and trauma center is open for those experiencing emergent health concerns. Employees have told KNEB News that the hospital has been without phone and internet services since the outages began. Well, coming up after the break, Bill Boyer is in with your Thursday evening forecast. I love that right after the break here on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we believe it shouldn't cost you money to access your money. That's why we offer free ATMs anytime, anywhere. Whether you are across town or traveling abroad, there won't be an added expense to access the funds in your Platte Valley Bank account. Free ATMs are just one of the great benefits of banking with us. Stop by to talk to one of our friendly associates to discuss what else Platte Valley Bank has to offer. Logos and Gearing is the place to get all of your school spirit gear, personalized gifts, and promotional items for your business and employees and banners for any special event. Logos is also the only place to stop for custom screen printing or embroidery. You can even design it yourself on their interactive website. Stop into Logos today. They'll design it, print it, and have it to you in no time. There's no job too big or small for Logos. That's Logos in Gearing. This is KNEB.TV weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Going to be dealing with clear skies tonight across the region. Temps fall uh, eventually here down to about uh, 80 degrees as we go through the evening hours, then down to maybe into the uh, mid and upper 60s by the time you head to bed, about 50 to get up tomorrow morning. Uh, otherwise, that's about it. Not much happening. Not as hot tomorrow. It'll be warm through Saturday, then much cooler starting Sunday. And unfortunately, we've got breezes coming, but little to nothing in the way of rain in our forecast. And we certainly could use the moisture. 90 yesterday missed that record high by three. We flirted with it today right up into the uh, low to mid 90s uh, today. And this should be the hottest day here the next several. Nothing in the rain gauge. Again, we're uh, tumbling lower and lower here as we go across the region. 80s and 90s here in our area. That is certainly the warm part of the uh, middle part of the country here. 
right in our vicinity. Upper 70s in the high country. We've got uh, mainly some low 80s out in eastern Nebraska. That cooler air still entrenched off to our north and east. There's 91 in Oshkosh right now. It looks like uh, the 92 Scotts Bluff. There's 93 in Shadron. Uh, some of the warmer readings right now. And winds are light out of the west uh, southwest at 5 to up to 15 miles an hour at times. Getting on the bus tomorrow. Yeah, open those doors at 52 degrees. It'll be partly cloudy. Not much change on the way home. Still partly cloudy. Not as warm, though. We're going to be in the low 80s tomorrow as you get off the bus on your way home from school. Nothing happening out here on the picture tonight. It is clear, abundantly so across the region. Nothing happening and uh, quiet conditions. Lows tonight going to fall down primarily into the upper 40s and low 50s. Most of us going to be in the low 50s. 59 there, a little warmer up in Valentine. For tomorrow, sunshine here across the region, just a thin layer of clouds. Generally, we'll call it partly cloudy tomorrow, and uh, that's about it, off and on clouds hanging around. Otherwise, it's going to be cooler tomorrow, not quite as warm as today. Still above normal, our normal high in the mid-70s. We'll be in the low to mid-80s tomorrow for most of us, but that's down from the low to mid-90s that we had today, and kind of a broken record, nothing coming out here in terms of precip over the next couple of days. Clear skies tonight. A lot of that smoke and haze that we had has shifted a little further south into portions of northern Colorado. Still could see a little bit of that smoke. 51 overnight tonight. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, not as hot. 85, winds about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Enjoy that because we're going to start to turn breezy to windy on Saturday. Uh, look at Saturday, about 83 windy conditions. Then we drop temperatures well down into the 60s. There's a 62 coming up for Sunday. Monday then we're in the low to mid 70s. Uh, same situation for Tuesday. Wednesday we drop back down into the 60s for Wednesday and Thursday as well. So a couple potent uh, cold fronts coming through. Unfortunately, they're just going to bring cooler temperatures and wind and not much in the rain that we need to dampen the fire danger out there and uh, help in that uh, very widespread drought that we have across the region. Fly United Airlines, operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver, along with a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today, and remember, United miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. With magnificent views and a majestic rolling landscape, Scenic Knolls Golf Course welcomes you. Located two miles north of Mitchell, make your way to the top course in the valley. Recent renovations and the highest quality greens in western Nebraska provide a fantastic golf experience at a terrific value. Scenic Knolls provides exciting golf for all skill levels and is where PGA Tour pro Nate Lashley got his start. After your round or anytime you're hungry, stop into Ayala's restaurant for good food and drinks. Call today and book your tea time or go online at mitchellcity.net slash recreation. Renewal by Anderson Windows and Patio Doors. Invest in your home. The number one investment I like to invest in is my home. For less than your cable bill and your cell phone bill, you can have all new windows in your house. Now, I've never got a return from my cable bill. And I've never got a return from my cell phone bill. But when you invest in your home and windows, you're gonna get that return. Now more than ever, there is no place like home. Invest in it. Renewal by Anderson Windows and Patio Doors. Welcome back. Enough signatures have been collected to force a recall election for Crawford Mayor Connie Schell. Dawes County Clerk Cheryl Feist says the completed petition was submitted to her on August 31st. The special recall election cannot be held within two months of a primary or general election, so the earliest recall date would be in early January. Well, the Alliance Public Library will remain closed through the end of the month due to a COVID-19 exposure. Staff say they will be at the library to answer any questions by phone and will be able to fill requests for materials from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. daily. Library officials apologize for any inconvenience, but are taking these measures in the interest of overall public health. And seven Panhandle residents have been appointed by Governor Pete Ricketts to fill seats on several Nebraska boards and commissions. David Howell and Courtney Schuler of Morrill, as well as David Weber of Alliance, have been appointed to the Nebraska Dry Bean Commission. Thomas Parker of Gehring was one of two appointees to the Nebraska Commission on Law Enforcement and Criminal Justice. Additionally, 
Kevin Adams and James Sarche of Meditare and James Scavdal of Marsland were all appointed to the Riparian Vegetation Mar Management Task Force. Rickett says these appointments will provide crucial insight and expertise to their respective boards and commissions. Well, straight ahead, Chris Petrell in with the latest from the world of sports. You'll have that in just 90 seconds here on KNEB.TV News. Hydrozen. Unplug and recharge. What is Hydrozen? It's total body relaxation. It's total body recharge. It's floating weightless on water. Floating your aches, pains, stresses, and worries away. Hydrozen is a revolutionary new therapy using Epsom salt saturated water as a way to relax and rejuvenate your body. And it's now available in Scott's Bluff. It is for most ages and has many benefits to the mind and body. Visit hydrozenfloat.com or call us at 308-63-FLOAT. Who is Hydrotex? Hydrotex manufactures and distributes over 300 different high-performance lubricants, including fuel conditioners, hydraulic and transmission fluid, and more. We've been helping customers improve their operations for more than 80 years with products made in the USA. We sell directly to customers and can even deliver right to your door to offer excellent service and value. Our products are made to exceedingly extend drain and grease intervals to reduce maintenance and labor costs to improve the budget. Whether you're in a factory, farm fleet, or like to go fast, Hydrotex is here to help. Visit your local Hydrotex dealer in person or online today. Fox Butte General Hospital continues our mission to lead and innovate in healthcare delivery and community wellness. But this isn't just a hospital. This is home to exceptional patient care. This is the greatest place to work, receive care, and practice medicine. This is innovation in action. This is community wellness. This is where specialty clinics fit your needs. This is where a friendly smile, a warm hand, and an empathetic ear exist to care for you. We are Box Butte General Hospital. This is us. Great things are happening here since 1976. Home buying is filled with decisions. Neighborhood, floor plan, fenced yard. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. Home buying is filled with decisions. Square feet, fixer upper, room to grow. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. The high school sports season rolls on, and we've got plenty of coverage over the next couple of nights. Glad to have you for today's update. And a busy Thursday at that on tap for both the Scotts Bluff and Gehring Volleyball programs. They were busy earlier this week with a rivalry showdown over at Scotts Bluff High as the Bearcats knocked off Gehring for the first time in 13 matches, stretching back to 2016. Emma Foote put up double-digit kills for the Cats in the win as they got their record to 5-3 and three this year. They're at Shadron tonight. Gehring dropped to 2-3 and three with that loss, and they'll be at Sydney tonight. They've got matches on tap against the Lady Raiders and an earlier match against Mitchell. We'll have all three matches here on the network with Scott's Bluff and Shadron on the trail starting at 545. Those Gehring matches on 93.3 KMOR with Jeff starting at right around 445 or 5 o'clock for pregame. Softball for both schools today and on Saturday. The same location for Scott's Bluff and Gearing today. They're at the Ogallala Quad. And then for the weekend, Scott's Bluff heading to Gothenburg. Gearing tracks to Adams Central there in Hastings. It's been a real banner season so far for the Scotts Bluff boys tennis team. You see they'll be in action this weekend. They've gotten great showing so far from Porter Robbins and Lincoln Frank at number one doubles along with Cade Huck at the number two single slot. Scotts Bluff tennis this weekend in Hastings and in Kearney and then we kind of get set and roll into a Friday. Another busy evening for our two high school football broadcasts that we'll have here on the network. The battle of the Bulldogs at Gehring with the Lions in town. Both teams looking for their first win of the season, and both teams will be a little bit shorthanded again this week. Gehring lost that heartbreaker to Shadron last week in the closing moments while the Lions had their game against Hastings canceled. And for Scott's Bluff at home for a second straight Friday night, this time around to play Grand Island Northwest. The Cats last week got that first one of the season over Custer, South Dakota. The Vikings will be a major step up in level of play. They're 3-1 and one and beat a really good Waverly team 
last week. We'll have the TV over at Gary Radio on KMOR 93.3 and the Scotts Bluff game 106.9 the trail. Both games have kickoff times scheduled for 7 o'clock. And after multiple weeks of really unwatchable college football, we start to see some normalcy return this weekend. The SEC returns, plenty of conference matchups from their league and some good conference matchups across the country, including the Big 12 this weekend, as well as we continue to wait on the Big 10. Now one month away from opening kickoff for the Huskers, at Ohio State. That's the latest today from right here at the FNBO TV Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. Ryan's got more when we come back right after this here on KNEB.TV. Small business, you're the engine that makes our communities thrive. That's why we're with you, providing more for you so you can focus on what matters most. Small business, you're the engine that makes our communities thrive. That's why we're with you, providing more for you, so you can earn more, save more, and do more. For the past 44 years, Platte Valley Vacuum and Sewing has been serving the Wyobrasca area. That's quite a long time. At Platte Valley Vacuum and Sew, you'll find quality sewing machines, quilting and embroidery machines, even sergers from name brands such as Foff and Baby Lock, both known for their well-made machinery. Keep in mind you'll receive one-on-one -on -one lessons with your machine purchase. Platte Valley Vacuum and Sew also offers a fine selection of 100% cotton quilting fabrics and a great selection of threads and notions to assist you in most any quilting or embroidery project you might have. For all your sewing machine quilting needs, stop by Platte Valley Vacuum and Sew, downtown Scotts Bluff. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar.
That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. Find out what convenient really means at the Western Travel Terminal. Start with our great selection of food and drinks from for real milkshakes and fresh brewed coffee to snacks and hot food. Next, check out our beer and spirits with their everyday low prices. Finally, let us work for you with our full service gas station and automatic truck and car wash. All this can be found at 822 South Beltline in Scotts Bluff. Western Travel Terminal, your convenient shopping, restaurant and full service gas leader. At Platte Valley Bank, we believe it shouldn't cost you money to access your money. That's why we offer free ATMs anytime, anywhere. Whether you are across town or traveling abroad, there won't be an added expense to access the funds in your Platte Valley Bank account. Free ATMs are just one of the great benefits of banking with us. Stop by to talk to one of our friendly associates to discuss what else Platte Valley Bank has to offer. And finally tonight, a fundraiser earlier this month will help a small local fire department beef up their ability to fight grass and wildland fires in the future. A benefit barbecue raised nearly $4,850 for the McGrew Fire Department, which Fire District Board Chairman Mike Wombolt told KNB News would be used for upgrades such as Nomex fire-resistant clothing. Department firefighters were among the first to arrive for the Hubbard Gap fire, but without some of the required equipment, according to Wombolt. We lack some of the wildland uh, fire fighting gear that we needed. Um, we have bunker gear and that that's way too hot for yeah. for doing wildland fires. So we need we need some wildland fire gear. This shined a lot of light on what we lack. But, mm -hmm. I mean, we have a lot going for us, but we lack in some areas too. So I think this is this will help tremendously to help us in the future. He says the department will take their time to find the best way to maximize the funding provided by donations and those who took part in the fundraiser. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. I'll see you here next time.